In an A-level chemistry exam, you can be asked to draw out the mechanism for a given reaction. There are several mechanisms you'll need to know, so how can you tell which mechanism the examiners are looking for? Well, that'll depend on what's reacting. If an alkane is reacting with a halogen in the presence of UV light, the mechanism will be free radical substitution. For A-level chemistry, you won't need to draw any curly arrows for this mechanism. You just need to be able to outline the initiation, propagation and termination steps involved. If an alkene is reacting, the mechanism will always be electrophilic addition. This is the only mechanism you need to know that involves a carbon-carbon double bond. If a halogenoalkane is reacting, there are a couple of possibilities. If it's reacting with aqueous sodium hydroxide, there will be a nucleophilic substitution to form an alcohol. If it's reacting with ethanolic sodium hydroxide, there will be an elimination to form an alkene. A reaction between a halogenoalkane and ammonia or cyanide will also result in a nucleophilic substitution. If an alcohol is reacting with a strong acid catalyst, the mechanism will be an elimination to form an alkene. If an aldehyde or ketone is reacting, the mechanism will be nucleophilic addition. If an acyl chloride is reacting, the mechanism will be nucleophilic addition elimination. If a reaction is happening at a benzene ring, the mechanism will always be electrophilic substitution, as this is the only mechanism you'll need for reactions at aromatic rings. Be careful when you need to outline the mechanism for a molecule that has multiple functional groups. You need to take care to ensure you're using the correct mechanism, so pay close attention to what the reagents are and try and think which functional group they'll react with. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to support the channel and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.